Yes guys, welcome back to another video on the channel. Now today we have a tier list for the most overpowered OP players in FIFA history. So then, as you can see here on your screen, we have the tier list. You've probably seen it before. We've got GOAT, Unreal, Good, OK and Overrated. Now, I haven't made this myself, so um, these are players obviously from past FIFA FIFA and the most OP sort of players. We're going to rank them in the in their categories above and hopefully find out who's the best. Now, if there's any other rankings you want me to do, any tier lists, drop them in the comments. I can make them, so I haven't made this one, but um, you can make them yourself, or we can do community ones that are already on there like this one, so let me know down in the comments below. Now, without further ado, I think we just get into it. The first one, we're going to go in the order it's given it to us, is El Shirari now. I have to admit, I haven't played a FIFA Ultimate Team before FIFA 13, so some of these are going to be based off like kind of hype and stuff, but most of them, I, well, almost all of them I've played with, but someone like El Shirari, I've heard, I'm pretty sure he's a five-star skiller. I'm, I'm going to have to put him in Unreal, only because he, he is supposed to be very, very OP. Um, this next one, I've made the squad of some of the players like that I for, kind of forget the names of and stuff like that, because they are... If, like most of them aren't on FIFA or aren't used in FIFA now. The next one is, who is it? The Brazilian. Oh yeah, this was the other thing. I'd done a bit of research to find this before. I don't know who this Brazilian is. I couldn't, I haven't played with him. Um, I think it's FIFA 12. What was, I don't, um, what was El Shirari? This was FIFA 12. So, and it's the same card type. So I don't know. Honestly, I'm going to have to put him in. I don't know. Okay. Because I haven't used him. I, I, so I um, don't know about that one. The next one is who's this nilmar now i've heard of this guy what another one i haven't played of so i can't really rate them but um based on his stats he's got 92 pace 86 dribbling for an 80 rated striker he's got to be good hasn't he he's got to be the next one i have played with in a different fifa this is a fifa 10 one uh fifa 12 again sorry um it's win we can see him here he's got 96 pace 55 dribbling like that that is that is well it's unreal isn't it for a center back um I think that's just so, so good. The next one is S-Vine. Oh my, if you remember this guy, he was a GOAT. And he's the first GOAT category because, oh, he just finished everything. He was in uh, FIFA's I've played. Like, I've literally played them. Uh, but, honestly, guys, this guy was insane. If you didn't play with him, you missed out. And the same with this next one, Wellington. Um, I didn't have as much fun with him. I don't know. Maybe, maybe obviously, this is my opinion, so I don't know. But, um... Wellington is unreal. Maybe could be the GOAT status, but um, definitely at least unreal. Next one, David Luiz as well. David Luiz had so many overpower cards. This is just one of them. This is a FIFA 13. I'm pretty, yeah, FIFA 13, I'm pretty sure. Um, another one. He's going into the unreal category. He has to be there. And the next one, I forget his name. My Mayaka. I can't remember how you say it properly, but I played with this guy. He is good, um, but wasn't the hype that I found from other, other OP players on this game so he's gonna have to go into good um yeah next one mnek oh my god ksi literally i think he's got to just go up and go because of ksi he blew this man up he's an absolute beast um yeah agbon lahore is next um he had a load of good cards but um i don't think because his shooting was like pretty low as well he was just pace wasn't he he really was just pace i'm gonna put him in good just because you know he was decent but not not over overly uh you know, overpowered. The next one, though, is very, very good. And it's going to go in Unreal, like David Luiz. Dede, um, if you remember Dede, him, Santana. I don't, yeah, Santana is there. Um, he'll he'll probably go up there with him. He was just insane with them. So he goes into Unreal. Barbo, very, very good. Very rapid. Serie A player. There was a few. Um, Jovino was a Serie A one you could have. And um, yeah, Barbo was very, was he Unreal or good? He was good, Bonnie. He was good. And same with uh, Draxler, uh, he was good, was very good for like a uh, start of the game, but obviously he wasn't as OP as someone like S Vine, who literally you could use at the end of the game. Is mad. So um, yeah, next one I had to search up is Johnson. Um, honestly, guys, I haven't played with him. I can't lie. Um, I don't really remember him. Um, I'm gonna put him in okay. Um, yeah. The next one is a controversial one. I think Edez overrated. He was like in the Draxler squad. Matt HD Gamer, I think, did a 5k gold non rare team or 10k. And he was in there. I, I used it. I bought it. I was a fanboy. And I didn't rate Adair. And he's the first one I'm putting in overrated. Maybe you guys disagree, but um, let me know what you think in the comments. 
Um, but Ramirez has to be in GOAT. This guy was insane. Literally 88. He was like a Kante. And there is a Kante in this list. But um, yeah, I'm putting him in, in GOAT because he was just so, so good. And to add to the Brazilian centre-backs, Felipe Santana has to go in there. Um, absolute tank. The next one, I remembered him, but I couldn't like picture why he was so good. And I think if I'm... Yeah, he was 5-star, five 5-star. Five you can see that there. 5-star, five 5-star five is why... Um, how do you say it? Ch um, how do you say it? Chick... Chikauki? I, I, honestly, I've butchered that name. But 5-star, five 5-star. Five I don't remember using him too much, but he's got to be good for 5-star, five 5-star, five hasn't he? Realistically. Um, next one, another OP, OP striker. Um, three strikers up in the GOAT status. It was Dumbia, just because of how he actually could shoot as well. That was the mad thing, because he had 82 shooting, unlike like 78 on Emanike, 70 on Svine. He, this guy could actually shoot as well as the pace, and everyone remembers uh, Dumbia. Absolute tank. Um, yeah. Daniel Sturridge is next. I don't actually remember using a Sturridge. Is it just me? I don't know. Um... 89 pace, 81 dribbling, 82 shooting. I'd rather go with Dumby. I don't know about you, but Dumby has got better everywhere. So this could be controversial as well. I'm chucking Sturridge down in um, overrated. He's got to be. He's got to be down there. Um, yeah. Anyway, next one for me is Lacazette. Uh, Lacazette. I packed his in this. I think this is FIFA 15 now. I packed his um, team and season card and was brilliant. Sold him for 500k as well. So. Played some, played some games and then sold him 500k. Um, I'm going to chuck him in okay because I don't remember using his gold, but I do remember using his team this season and it was sick. The next one is Onoa. Onoa? I don't know how you say it, but I do remember this guy. And he was gold with 83 pace and that is why he was such a beast. And we're going to put him in good because I did prefer the Brazilians back in the day, but um, yeah, Onoa was a good card. And then the next GOAT is Jovinho. Be only because of that strong link there. The perfect link, sorry. Capcom Tom is loving it right now because that perfect link was such a good one back in the day. And you literally couldn't be stopped. It was just a pace abuse and um, yeah, it was OP with that. Um, who have we got next? Connor Plianka. Um, I can't remember him ever being overly like amazing. It looks like he's just a pace abuser again. Most of the players are. But um, I'm going to put Connor Plianka in okay. Because I don't remember remember him being that great. Whereas Aubameyang, I do. He was unreal. Um, pace, shooting, all right dribbling. Um, what is that, FIFA 16 or 14? I'm not sure which one that is. I think that's 14. Could be wrong. No, that looks like 16. I don't know. I don't know. Dybala, one of my favourite players of all time. Only because I made this series, um, Dybala's Road to Glory, which lasted about 10 episodes. And I think this is FIFA 14 because it was that card. And I think that was his first year where he went from Parma to Juve. And yeah, got to got to put him in Unreal for sort of like personal ones because I did remember using him. Next up though, Smalling. Chris Smalling. This guy, honestly, nightmares. Absolute nightmares. I had him in my team. Um, I think I had him with Jack Butland and Winston Reid read in form. And Jack Butland is, is an automatic GOAT because of how OP he was. We're talking about OP players here. This guy has to make it in. He is insane. Literally, I think he was, what is he, six foot four, five, six? I don't even know. He's like a Nick Pope of FIFA 21. Um, he was incredible. Martial, chucking in good. I don't actually remember him as a OP, OP player. I know he's pacey, good dribbling, but um, I don't know. Maybe not for me, maybe one for you guys. But Kante, though, has to be in GOAT for me. He was also in my team. I think this is FIFA 17. Um, that Those sort of players in the Prem, they were just too many that were good. But I don't remember Renato Sanchez being that good. I remember him being like, okay, but I'm going to chuck him in overrated. Now, that might be a bit of a dodgy opinion, but um, it's one I've got to do. We've got two Portuguese men in that overrated thing. There's no nothing against Portuguese. Portugal or anything, not that they beat Wales in the Euro semi-final or anything, but um, nah, I'm joking, but um, yeah, down there, there you go, but uh, next up is someone who I think's unreal, Alice Andrini, Nick uh, run the foot market, isn't going to like it, but he was so, so good, wasn't he, he was just an overpowered player, whereas Lozano, I, I don't know, you can, you tell me, I might even put him overrated, because I don't remember him being any good, 
And I do think in FIFA 21, he's got pace and nothing else. I don't think he's that good in FIFA 21 as well. And you'd think he'd be better because he's high rated now. But yeah, don't know. Next one is Cristiano. Who I've put in this squad of players I need to have a little look into. Um, this is... FIFA 18 Cristiano I do remember it and four star weak foot I can't remember why he was so like I remember Matt HD making a video on him shot power is good but it's nothing special he hasn't got a five star anywhere he's rapid but honestly guys he's gonna go in overrated because I don't I don't see why what was the hype for this guy I can't remember might be wrong you gotta let me know don't uh, let me know in the comments below but um yeah, he's going in overrated. Um, but we've got someone to get back up the list, and that is Bakayoko. Absolute tank. He's like a Vieira when you play with that guy. You know, FIFA 17 as well. Like I'm saying, the Prem players that year were disgusting. They were so overpowered. Another one here. I'm going to put him in good because I think he's another one like Martial. who's quick. He was a good dribbler. But he wasn't that, like, I don't know. He didn't have the absolute wow factor for me. FIFA 19 card that did, though. It's Kondogbia. He has to be there because they're out overpowered. Another one like Bakayoko. Absolute anchor in the midfield. And then comes the main man, Kylian Mbappe. Has to be a GOAT because of how, like, one, he might not even mean that good at the time. But he's just gone all the way up and now he's just an insane player. So I have to put him in GOAT. And Arky Williams, though, is a FIFA 19. He was good, but I think he was okay. Honestly, I don't remember... I think he had a two-star weak foot. I don't see how that's OP in my opinion. Um, well, it can it can be because of the pace, but you don't really need the weak foot when you've got pace. But I don't know. Nothing too special. FIFA 19 as well. Another one. Okay. Actually, no. Overrated. Only because I feel like last year... No, this is two years ago now. People had good teams like almost straight away. So, um, Davison Sanchez. He's got to be down there in, in overrated. Whereas, Kenny Lala, I swear he was... Oh, where do I put him? Unreal. He was unreal, wasn't he? I don't know if he had a higher rated card than that. I can't remember, but I remember Bates and using him. I had him in my team for sure. But um, yeah, he was so, so good at right back. And a lot of people kept him in for a long, long time. Dumfries, though. I don't remember him being overly like OP. I'm not sure. Um, I don't know. Was he, was he amazing? I don't know. I can't remember, to be honest. But this one is a GOAT. What is... Is that FIFA 20... I'm not sure which Dembele that is, but um, I've got I had him in my team this year, had him in my team last year, and probably year before. I think that was FIFA. It was either 18 or 20. I'm not sure which FIFA that is. I think it's 20. I'm not. I don't know. Could be wrong. Um, but Dembele's always been amazing. He's got five star for five star skills, stuff like that. He's rapid. Barcelona French. You know, he's got to be up there. Ryan Kent. I am. Oh, I don't want to do it. He is the m probably most hated player on FIFA ever. I don't know what to put, where to put him because he was good. Oh, I'm, I'm going to put him in Unreal. I don't want to put him in the GOAT status because these players were fun. Like I didn't feel fun using Ryan Kent. I can't lie. Um, yeah, but he was good. So he has to stay up there. So Soko, he was a GOAT. He, he has to be a GOAT because of how well-rounded everyone used him. Oh, it's, it's Mendy, Militao, Ben Yedder, some of the most hated players. Militao has to be there. Mendy, I don't remember him being overly good till this year. So I'm going to put him in good. And then Ben Yedder. Whoa, the last one of the video. I think he's either a GOAT or he's unreal. He's nothing less because he was such a pain to play against. I think I'm going to chuck him in unreal. Same with Ryan Kent. I didn't feel fun using him. But... He got you goals. He just, he was so reliable. He's got to go unreal. And that pretty much finishes the rankings for the most overpowered players in the history of FIFA. Literally the history of FIFA. There's not, if you can think of any more overpowered players in this selection here. And let me know if if you agree with this. Like, who, who would you move? Who would you, you know, take out of this? Could be some controversial ones in overrated there. Like, I don't remember using Sturridge that much. Adair I did have a bad time with, so that's why he's down there. Sanchez didn't really get to use that much. Lozano, I think it's just pace, but he wasn't even that good. Cristiano, can't even find the reason why, he's, uh, why he was OP. Um, Sanchez, like I said, people got really good teams, so he wasn't very usable after a while. Then, you know, the top line is just where you want to be looking, guys. That is absolutely insane. But, um, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed. If there's any of these tier lists 
any rankings, any top players, anything, check in the comments below. Um, also, guys, like the video if you did enjoy because that tells me you enjoyed it. Let's me know to make more of these sort of content. And, um, yeah, I think that's it for the most OP players in FIFA. If you enjoyed, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe already. Peace.